Alright guys, this is Lightning Army. Excuse me, that's your guys' name. My name is Lightning Gamer. This is for you guys. This will be part four. We're going to be continuing where we left off. So we're here in the drugstore. Um, there's things we can take, it looks like. We're going to pick up some stuff. Um, examine Central the newspaper. High -tech state. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Huh? <laughs> Examine the food box. Is there Looks anything like in there? Nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm. ATM. A. Hey. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Uh, that's good. Clementine, let's give her some food. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Aww. Hey there. Hi. Can I get you anything? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. That's true. No, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. Hmm. That's good. <gasps> yeah, I think so, uh... Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. <gasps> Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Aww. Is there anything over here? I don't know about you, but I'm going to take care of Clementine. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. You already told us your name. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. He was trying to assault a kid. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Oh. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. Uh. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Great. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yes. Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Great! Great. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up Excuse walking me. around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Oh, great. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. E yep. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't mean it. Yeah, he doesn't it's mean it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Except he's the reason everything was screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Yeah, we found the sitter, yeah. that's for sure. She's lucky to have you. Thank you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. 
take another energy bar I can give them we can't let anything happen to them melted now no hun oh remember them very well that's sad all right guys man it's just there's like no break in this game, dude. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead car. That <laughs> some uh short humor there, that's kinda funny. Can I give Clementine more food? No, I can't. Okay, I have two energy bars though. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> Jesus. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <sighs> sorry about I'm that. Sorry. <clears throat> she was sorry an about asshole, that, guys. Need a little but, bit of water. You know. Yeah. What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, nothing. didn't turn on no batteries there are no batteries in this thing what now you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah of course i mean yeah she did i can try to find some let's do i wouldn't even really know what to look for that's funny she's like what where do i find batteries Clementine. Oh, there's an energy bar on the floor? Oh. Well. Um. Oh, there's one. One more, right? I guess it wouldn't hurt to give him food, but I don't care. I have three energy bars. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Where's the last battery? Oh. Oh, wait, no, no. That's to Carly. I need one more. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Mm, there's nothing here. Uh, there's gotta be a second battery somewhere, right? The pills are in there. Where is it? Open the office. No, nope, nothing here. Nope. Nope, no battery. Just Clementine, right? Huh. It's not much, but here, for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Yeah. That's sweet, Lee. Oh, that is sweet. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. Uh -uh. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome. How's Duck doing? He's okay. 
It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Yeah. No kid. All right. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one, right? Yeah, there. she is. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own. That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yeah, no eight-year-old. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Yeah. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah. It, that sucks, man. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. I guess I should not have let him punch him. We've all been through a lot. Yeah, not my brightest Please, idea, you guys. Got a sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We could have. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. That's true. I guess. It... Try to let it go. Console. Mm -hmm. It'll be alright. We saved your boy. We couldn't save both. But he's right. You could have saved them together. But then what would have happened to Duck? I don't see anywhere to pick up that last um, battery. Ah! There it is. Jeez, I would have missed that one. All right. Let's give something to Carly. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat? She it? got it. She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yes, let's find out what happens, huh? Oh boy. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Alright, so we put the batteries in there. She has them backwards. Oh boy. All right, moment of truth. As the you fixed it. Continues nice. To unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. Yikes. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get uh -oh. over here. Steve. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. God bless you all. Oh, that's not good, guys. Hey, Carly. That guy saved you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls, ghouls or whatever the hell. You they really are. think they're they were ghouls? Dan apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. She's been playing too you much World of Warcraft. Or gonna Fallout cute. 4. In that parents' basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Or Diablo. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Uh, yeah. Then again, maybe not. 
sure. Hey there. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Ah, Real nice. Hard hitting stuff. Sounds well. Cherry Blossom Festival. I better get back to it. Yep. Yep. All right. We have one more that I'm gonna keep for myself. Heard or seen any? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look? Yes, around? please. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be cool. fine. Cool. Huh. All right. Uh, let's go. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yeah, that would be preferred. That'd be preferable. Excuse me. To quote Lee. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as well. Oh, them. nice. Oh, fuck. oh boy, that's just. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets. Yep. Yeah. I think so. We don't have that kind of time, though. We better keep it down out of here. That's a TV store. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. It, if anywhere it else is doing any better. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around. Oh, nice. Great. Look at the one trapped over there. Everett? Oh. Better him than us, huh? B. Everett, RX manager. Oh, his brother. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What? Do you know that guy? Yeah. Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, dog. Dang, that's sad. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Well, I'll see what I can find. He has the. It says Lee's brother. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. It's a combination lock. We should search that guy. We should think about searching that guy across the Yes. Street. Yes. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. It doesn't seem like that trap guy is going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then Jesus. Jesus, no kidding. Thanks, Doug. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so... You probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Man, you guys, that's scary.
All right. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. All right. was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. Mm -hmm. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Oh, that's sweet. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And... You don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut <coughs> allergy. But you're cool? I think so. <laughs> Clementine. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an nice. engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh. Yeah, it's better to tell her the you truth. No. I'm just sorry for being No, mean. no, Clem, you weren't me. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I am. Uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. I'm gonna tell Clementine the truth on everything. Ow! Oh, uh oh, 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 gosh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, sweetie. That hurts. I'll find you a bandage. Yes, we will check. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something. Yeah, let me see if I can get some bandages. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Oh. Yeah. 
How about if I press here? Ow. Big Ow or Little Ow? Uh, medium <laughs> Ow. You got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. Okay, well, it's not broken. All right. First gate kit, perfect. All righty. Look at the TV. First aid kit. Oh man. That sucks at his brother. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. And yeah, and you interrupted me on that when I went to this. try to give her first aid. So, Good. if you because could... Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just Thank keep you. it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Hey! Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I'm trying to tell her the know. truth. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try Smart that thinking. way. Smart thinking. Stay close to me until then, okay? Uh, okay guys so we're gonna clean up Clementine's wound here let's have a look at that finger Ow. it hurt let's see if we can do something about it and let's clean it up let's get this cut covered up yes please there we go How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks oh, for fixing welcome. it. Oh, you're welcome. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the <clears throat> sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Uh huh. Have you heard from Glenn? Not we will in a protect while. you, Clementine. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector at least. Keys are on that zombie on Perfect. The street. Okay, guys. So with that, this is going to conclude part four of The Walking Dead, season one, episode one. I'm going to catch you guys for the next part. We'll continue right after this, okay? See you guys in just a couple minutes.